Hi there and welcome to 1000 English Grammar Test Practice Questions with Next Gen English. These are questions 81 to 100. Of course, don't forget, if you want to take this test before you watch this video, you can follow the link in the description, scroll down the page on nextgenenglish.com and take the test, then watch the video for a complete explanation of all of the answers. Okay, so let's start with question number one. So the first question is, Please come and join us. We something. So is it A, we are eat lunch now? Is it B, we are having lunch? Is it C, we having lunch? Or is it D, we are about to eating lunch? Okay, so these questions, questions number 81 to 100, are about the present simple versus the present continuous tense, also known as the present progressive. So in order to answer this question, what we really need to think about, what we really need to know is, is this a present simple sentence or a present continuous sentence? Then we can maybe look at the form that the different answers have and try to choose the correct one based on that. So present continuous, first of all, we need to know why we use the present continuous or the present simple. So actually, let's start with present simple. So we use the present simple for repeated actions or facts and generalizations. And we use the present continuous to talk about an action which has started and it's happening now, or an action which is in progress at the moment. So let's just call that now, to talk about now. We can also use it to talk about an action in the future, okay? Maybe a temporary action in the future or a future plan. So, the form of the present simple is subject plus verb one. And for present continuous, we need subject and then B, and then the verb with ing. And then you can continue. So if we have a look at these, if we know this information, we should be able to answer every question in this test. Okay, so every all of the information here should be enough for us to answer every single question, questions number 81 to 100. If we start with the option, option A, okay, so, well, first of all, we need to look at this sentence. We need to say, is it a present simple sentence or a present continuous? The clue we have really is this, please come and join us, we something. So please come and join us. So is this a repeated action? Is it a fact or a generalization? Mm, no, this is something that might happen once. This is an invitation. Please come and join us when, now, perhaps in the future. So now we're in the future. So right now we're looking at the present continuous. It should be a present continuous form if we continue as uh, with the same information that we have here. So, A, we, so we're looking for a subject and then B and then verb with ing. We've already got the subject. So the next thing we should be looking for is B. So here we've got B in the form of R. Remember B is, is, am, or are. We can rule out C because there's no form of B there. Then we need the verb with ing. Here we've got the verb, but there's no ing, so it's not A. So here we have B, the verb with ing, but here we also have B, and we also have here the verb with ing. So we need to think about which one 
is the correct option. So here, if you have a look, we've got this two. And what we've got here is something that doesn't actually happen or shouldn't really happen. So if you have two then, and a verb, then the next verb should be the base form of the verb. It should be to eat. If you add ing, then this is not correct. This is wrong. To eating, you don't see this form together. So about to eating, this is a mistake. We can cross that off. The correct answer is B. Please come and join us. We are having lunch. Okay, so question number two. I something a coffee with my breakfast every morning. Is it, I'm sometimes drinking a coffee with my breakfast every morning? Is it B, I having a coffee with my breakfast every morning? Is it C, I have a coffee with my breakfast every morning? Or is it D, I like to drinking a coffee with my breakfast every morning? So again, we need to think about, is it present simple or present continuous, this sentence? I something a coffee with my breakfast every morning. The clue here is every morning. This should let us know that this is a repeated action. This is something that happens every morning. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, etc. So we should be looking at, again, present simple. And remember, present simple is subject plus verb one. I am. This is B, and we don't have B here, so we can rule out A, not I am. I having, okay, so ha this is a verb, but we also have ing, so it's not having. We're not looking for, there's no ing here. And here we've got like to drinking, and again, like the previous question, to and the verb with ing, remember, they don't go together. So this is a mistake. This shouldn't happen. To drinking is not the correct form. So this is, yeah, I have. I have a coffee with my breakfast every morning. Question number three. Sometimes I something on the sports channel. Is it A? Sometimes I like to watching boat races on the sports channel. Is it B? Sometimes I watching boat racing on the sports channel. Is it C? Sometimes I am watching boat racing on the sports channel. Or is it D? Sometimes I watch boat racing on the sports channel. Now again, we need to look at, is this present simple or present continuous? And the big clue here is, again, sometimes that it's very similar to the previous question, very similar to question number two. So again, this is a, uh, a repeated action, sometimes, sometimes yes, sometimes no, again, again, again. And so that would make it present simple. So present simple again is subject and then verb one. Subject and verb one, that's what we're looking for. We've got the subject here, I, is the subject. So we should be looking for verb one no ing and no b. We don't want is, am, or are, and we don't want the verb with ing. Here we've got like. It could be this possibly, but again, what have we got here? Two with the i, uh, let's make that a bit more of an arrow. Two with ing, and they don't go together. Two watching, this is a mistake, not correct. Watching, we've got the verb, but we've got ing, so this is not correct, not b. Uh, am, aha, uh -huh, this is b, this is the verb b. So we don't want this, we only want subject and verb one, so this is not correct, watching boat racing. Watch, yeah, this is verb one, boat racing, good. So sometimes I watch boat racing on the sports channel. Correct answer is d. Sometimes I watch boat racing on the sports channel. Question number four. Wait a minute, is that my t-shirt blank? So is the blank you've took? Is that my t-shirt you've took? 
Is that my T-shirt you have on? Is that my T-shirt you wear? Or is that my T-shirt you're wearing? If we look here, the clue is we've got wait a minute. So this should let us know that this is something which is happening now. So it's not a repeated action. We're not looking at a repeated action in this case. So we're not looking at a uh, present simple. This should be present continuous. And remember, present continuous, we need the subject and then B and then the verb with ing. And then you can continue. The form, we should be looking at something like this in general in the answer rather than it being a present simple answer. Here we've got, is that my t-shirt you've took? And this actually is a bit of a strange form for these questions because this is actually you have. So this is present perfect form, you have. And if it's present perfect, then that shouldn't be took, that should be taken. So this is a mistake anyway. So it's not A, you are have on for B. So here we've got subject B and the verb, it doesn't have I, N, G. So this is a mistake that the meaning would not be correct in that case anyway. So see, remember we said we're not looking for a present simple. This is not a routine. So this is a present simple form. So it's not that. So let's have a look. We've got the subject. We've got B and then we've got the verb with I, N, G. The correct answer is D. Is that my t-shirt you're wearing? Question number five. Slow down, something too fast. Is it you drive too fast? Is it you're driving too fast? Is it you going too fast? Or is it you aren't driving too fast? Again, slow down. This is something which is happening now, right now. As we said, present, continuous, subject, B, and then the verb with ing. Then you can continue. So slow down, something too fast. We've got, we need the subject. There's no B here, you drive. So that's present simple. That doesn't really work with uh, something happening right now. Uh, you are driving. Okay, so we've got subject, we've got B, and then we've got the verb with ing. So, hmm, okay, let's uh, put a question mark by that one. You going, subject, we've got the verb with ing, but no B, not C, and then we've got you aren't driving. We've got subject, we've got B with not, so that's okay. And then we've got the verb with ing. So let's put a question mark here. So hmm, we've got two potential options. So let's think about the meaning now. Slow down. What does slow down mean? It, mean? it means that you're traveling at a high speed and you need to go slower. So you're driving too fast. That makes sense. Slow down. You aren't driving too fast. It doesn't really make sense. So there's a, a problem with the meaning here. Here, that should let us know that the correct answer is B. Slow down, you're driving too fast. Question number six. We're always late because something such a long time to get ready. So is it you always take, you're always take, you're always wanting to take, or you always want to taking? We need to, again, same thing, is it present simple or present continuous? We're always, so this should give us a clue, and we've got always in the answers, so this should be present simple. This is about routines. So we want subject, verb one. And if we have a look here, We've got subjects in all of them. However, these two, B and C, we've got the verb to be you are. And we've got ing here. So these, we can, I think we can cross these off straight away. A or D. So you always take or you, all, you always want to taking. 
And again, we've got our little uh, mistake here. We've got two with the verb and ing. Remember, this is a mistake. This shouldn't happen in English. So you always want to taking is not correct. So the correct answer is A. We're always late because you always take such a long time to get ready. Question number seven. What a dive. He's something, a penalty. So is it he's tries to win a penalty? He's tried to winning a penalty? He's tried to win a penalty? Or he's trying to win a penalty? Again, let's have a look. This is something, this exclamation mark should give us a clue. This is something happening right now. What a dive. This is something now. So if it's now, remember we need, then it's present continuous, subject, B, verb with ing. So we've got the subject, he, we've got B, now we need a verb with ing, so not tries, not try, not try, but should be quite simple this one, trying, he's trying to win. Subject B, verb with ing, he's trying to win a penalty, so the correct answer here is D. Question number eight. I often something at the youth club, so is it A? I often am volunteering. Is it B? I often volunteer. C? I often to volunteer. Or D? I often volunteering at the youth club. So here, this is the clue. Often. I often. So this is a repeated action. Something that happens again and again. We're looking for present simple. Present simple. We don't need B, no B in present simple, and volunteering, no. Uh, what about volunteer? So remember, we've got the subject. Here we should be looking for verb one. Should be looking for verb one here. Volunteer, this is a verb one. We've got verb one here. So volunteering. ING, no, this is not correct. But here we've got two, I often to volunteer. Now, if we have two like this, then it's probably to give a reason. I often something to volunteer. I often like to volunteer. That might be okay, but uh, we don't have that here. So I often volunteer at the youth club. Question number nine, something enough space in your car for all of us. So is it, do you have enough space in your car for all of us? Is it, are you having, do you having, or are you have enough space in your car for all of us? Here we need to look at, is this something which is happening right now? Actually, this is slightly different because we've got a question here. We've got a question, question mark. This is slightly different uh, in terms of how we need to look at this question. Let's go through the potential answers. So we've got, do you have, again, this is a general fact or a generalization. This is a fact or a generalization that we're looking at. Do you have, you do or you don't. Either you have enough space or you don't have enough space. That's what we're looking at here. It's not something which is happening now in that kind of way. So do you have, maybe this might be correct. So let's put a question mark here. Do you have, are you having this form itself? Hmm, it might be okay if we said something like, are you having, are you having a party? Okay, are you having, a, this, this might be fine because a party is a temporary thing. It's something that it happens for a short time and then it's finished. So either now, you're having a party now, or you're having a party in the future. This is something, it's not a, a general fact. Either you do or you don't all the time. So are you having, no. Uh, do you having, for do, we don't use the verb with ing. So we're not using that. And are you have, again, 
if we're using B, we need uh, we need ing with the verb. This is not correct. So the correct answer here is A. Do you have enough space in your car for all of us? Question number 10. Something, a new shirt to the interview. So is it, are you wearing? Do you always wear? Do you wear? Or are you always wearing a new shirt to the interview? So we need to think about this to the interview. This should give us an idea that we're looking at something. This is like the previous question. This is not something which happens all the time, uh, like the example with having a party. So this is something at the interview. Maybe you have an interview now. Maybe you're having an interview in five minutes or in the future or something like this, somebody's ask, asking, but you don't generally have an interview every morning, every day. So this is not really a routine. This is probably something which is due to happen in the future. So in that case, we need to have it as a present continuous question. Uh, we need subject B, and then the verb with ing. Are you wearing, well, actually, this is a question. So because it's a question, what we need to do is swap these around. So in that case, it should be B and then subject and then the verb with ing. And then a question mark. So we're looking for the B first, and then the subject. So the only ones that we have here are option A and option D. So are you B, subject, verb with ing, and then B, subject, verb, oh, we've got always there, and then verb with ing. So we can rule out do you always wear and do you wear. And remember we said that this is a temporary action in the future. It's not a repeated action in which case always lets us know or gives us an idea that this is a repeated action. So always wear, are you always wearing? You, these, uh, this form doesn't go together. This doesn't work because you've got a, a temporary action or something now and always. So there's a bit of a mix up. So the correct answer is A, are you wearing a new shirt to the interview? Question number 11, something next December. So is it, I'm go skiing next December. I'm going to skiing next December. I'm going skiing next December. Or I go to skiing next December. Like the previous question again, this is something in the future. So remember we said, if you wanna talk about the future, you can use the present continuous, the form again. It should be in your memory by now. Hopefully, subject B, verb with ing. Right away, I think we can rule out D. I go to skiing, because there's no B. And we need the verb with ing, so I'm go skiing is not correct. So it's either B or C. And what do we have here? We've got our common mistake to skiing to with the verb and then ing, they don't go together. Uh, the correct answer is C, I'm going skiing next December. This is present continuous form. And because we, we've used next December, a time reference, we can use it to talk about the future. So the correct answer is C, I'm going skiing next December. Question number 12, Serena, something, a new job at the moment. Is it A, looks for, B, is on the lookout, C, isn't looking for, or D, is looking, a new job at the moment. The big clue here at the moment, 
So what should we be using? Of course, the present continuous at the moment. So we need subject, be, verb with ing. We've got the subject. The next thing we should be looking for is be. We've got is, is and is here. So let's rule out a. Is on the lookout. Mm, a bit difficult, this one. This is a phrase, on the lookout. But we need for. So we've got a word missing. On the lookout for should be. And it's not there, so that's not correct. Isn't looking for. Mm, let's put a question mark there. And is looking. Serena is looking a new job at the moment. This might be okay, but again, we're missing a word. Is looking for. You look for something. Look for. Look for. Look for, look at, look in, whatever it is, it's not looking by itself. So we can rule that out. So the correct answer again is C. Serena isn't looking for a new job at the moment. Question number 13. Referees must something on a lot of things at the same time. Is it be concentrated? Concentrate? to concentrate or concentrating. Referees must. So we're talking about a, a generalization or a fact here. This is not something which is happening now or something which we expect to happen in the future. This is talking about something which should be happening all the time. So here we've got B. Uh, so that's not correct because we're looking for a present simple. We're looking for present simple, remember? So we don't need be. So concentrate, hmm, possibly. Remember, we're looking for subject. We've got the subject and then verb one. So this should be verb one. So concentrate is verb one. To concentrate, we've got again. And uh, concentrating, so let's rule that out. Not concentrating, we don't need ing. Here, this is similar to a previous question that we had where we've got to concentrate. This might be, this form might be to give a reason for something. Referees must try to concentrate or something like that, but we don't have that here. So we can rule out C. So the correct answer is B. Referees must concentrate on a lot of things at the same time. Question number 14. We don't agree with each other, so we something about it. Is it A, avoid talking about it? B, avoid to talk about it? C, or avoid talking about it? Or D, are avoiding to talk about it? Bit tricky, this one. Okay, we've got two words here. We've got avoid. And we've got talk. But only one of these is the main verb in the sentence. We don't agree with each other. This is this is more of a, a generalization. This is something that somebody is talking about. What? Why? Why don't we talk about it? We're giving a reason. We're generalizing. We don't we don't agree with each other. So that's why something about it. All right, so we need to think about what's the main verb here. And the main verb is avoid. We've got the subject and avoid should be in verb one form. Here we have avoiding. We can rule out D straight away. If we have a look at A, avoid talking about it. Hmm. That seems okay. In this case, talking is like this because after avoid, the next verb, if you have a verb after avoid, then it always takes the ing form. So avoid talking, avoid watching, avoid going. We always have that. So once we know that, we should be able to rule out avoid to talk. And here we've got avoid talking as well, but we've got B, 
and we don't need B. So the correct answer is, of course, A. We don't agree with each other, so we avoid talking about it. Question number 15. I prefer something. So is it go to swimming? Is it to going swimming? Is it to swimming? Or is it to go swimming? Now, this is a, a bit tricky. Like the previous one, uh, we've got some a number of words which are verbs here or are made from verbs. So really, this is quite simple to know that this is a present simple sentence because we've got subject and we've got verb one already. So subject verb one is already here. So we, we need to think about what comes next. So I prefer go. Having two verbs together like that, two verb ones, they don't really work. I prefer go to swimming. No, that doesn't work. I prefer to. Okay, so all of these are two. So to give a reason I, or, or to explain further, I prefer to something. And remember what we said to and the verb with ing, that doesn't work. This is a mistake. So not I prefer to going swimming. I prefer to swimming. There's again here where well, we got to a verb with ing, so that doesn't work. And here we've got to with verb one. I prefer to go swimming. So the correct answer is D. I prefer to go swimming. Question number 16. I'm feeling tired, so I just want to something for an hour. So is it napping, take a nap, taking a nap, or go sleeping? So I'm feeling tired. All right, that should be clear. I'm feeling tired. This is something which is somebody talking about now. Uh, how, this is the first part of the sentence. However, second part of the sentence is slightly different. So I just want to, we've got two here. So this is more of a, a statement, giving a reason rather than being explaining or describing what's happening now. And remember, we've got two. So the next word, if it's a verb, it shouldn't have ing. So we can rule out a. Take a nap. Mm -hmm. Perhaps put a question mark. Taking, no verb with ing. So not c. I just want to go sleeping for an hour. This might be okay. You could say, I just want to go. If you said, I just want to go skiing for an hour, I just want to go running, uh, skydiving, you know, action activities, things which involve actions. It's okay to use this form, but not for sleeping. Sleeping is, is something obviously where you don't move that much. So a bit tricky this question, but yeah, the correct answer is, I just want to take a nap for an hour. Number 17, something with you. So let me know when you want to leave. So is it, I come with you? Is it, I'm coming with you? Is it, can I coming with you? Or I'm go with you. So let me know when you want to leave. Uh, I come with, okay, so this, Again, this is something that sh should be happening right now. Let me know when you want to leave. This is somebody asking for something now or in the future. So this should be present continuous, present continuous uh, form here. So I come, this is present simple. This is about routines. So this is not a routine. Uh, I'm coming mm -hmm, with a question mark. Can I coming? As if it's a question, there's no question mark here. So this is not a question. Uh, in which case, anyway, can, we, we wouldn't use ing with can. So it's not C and I am go. Again, we've got B, subject B. So this should have what? It should have ing. So that's not correct. So the correct answer is B. I'm coming with you. So let me know when you want to leave. Question number 18, I hardly ever eat fish something. Is it after I had a shower? Is it today at 7 a.m.? 
this morning or is it for breakfast? Here, I hardly ever eat fish, hardly ever. This is something we're talking about at stages. So this is a routine, some kind of routine, even if it's a negative routine. Uh, I hardly ever eat fish, something. So if we have a look at the answers, A, after I had a shower, this is actually past. Uh, this is something which is a, a completed action. So routine with a completed action, they don't go together. So it's not that. Today at 7 a.m., this is one time. Today at 7, routine and a one time action. No, they don't go together. Same this morning. So for breakfast, yeah. I hardly ever eat fish for breakfast. That matches. Question number 19. Luca, something on Saturday mornings. So is it loves to fish? Is it loves to fishing? Loves to go fishing? Or is loving to go fishing? So again, on Saturday mornings, this is a routine, something which happens again and again, every Saturday, every week. This should be for a routine, a present simple. We can perhaps rule out is loving. We've got B and the verb with ing, which with love, that doesn't really work anyway. But we're left with three options now. So loves to fish, loves to fishing. If you've been paying attention this far, then you should know that to fishing, we've got to the verb with ing. This is a mistake. To with ing, so we don't have that. And loves go to fishing. Here, yeah, these are mixed up. It should be to go fishing. So that is a mistake. So the correct answer is A, loves to fish on Saturday mornings. Question number 20. You may have to something what time you arrive. So is it you may have to wait? It's depending on what time you arrive. You may have to waiting. It depends on what time you arrive. You may have to do a bit of waiting depending on what time you arrive. Or you may have to waiting depending on what time you arrive. So if you've been paying attention this far, we should be able to rule out two answers straight away. We've got two here. So that means that if we're looking at a verb, all of these uh, options start with a verb. We cannot use or we don't use ing. So you may have to waiting is not correct. So you may have to wait. It's depending on what time you arrive or you may have to do a bit of waiting depending on what time you arrive. Do a bit of waiting is fine. So really we're looking at the second part of these options here and seeing if it uh, matches up. So here, it is depending on, here we've got a subject, we've got B, and then the verb with ing. This is not, this is for something which is happening now. This form, this is a present continuous form, but this is more of a generalization. This is a statement, this is saying something rather than describing something happening now. So this is not correct. So the correct answer is C. You may have to do a bit of waiting depending on what time you arrive. So how many did you get correct? Leave a comment below and uh, say how many you got correct. Of course, don't forget to subscribe for more videos and follow Next Gen English on social media platforms. Thanks for watching.